Hey, welcome back to 2DG. We got another beer review. What do we have? Today, from Matt Anthony's part of their Out of the Box series, it's called Jonesing for Java. It's an English style porter that they brew with uh, uh, Old Crown Coffee, which is located in uh, Fort Wayne, where the brewery is located, and apparently it's a proprietary blend. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Kind of excited. Again, this is out of Fort Wayne, Indiana. It's local to us. Uh, they've been doing new things. They, they, for years, just pumped out the same beers. That's the core six, I think, that they did. Yeah, and uh, they've got a few brew pub locations around the region. And uh, really glad to see them doing some new out-of-the-box Yeah, uh, we have done things. one previous out-of-the-box series. It was Hop Squatch 2. Go check that out. Yeah. So let's get it open. And they are 2015 GABF winners for their Auburn, Auburn Lager. Lager. Gold. Gold, by the way. Yeah, it was. So let's go ahead and pop this one open and get a pour. Maybe if I turn this around the correct way so we can open it. Or open it, period. Yeah, I'm not sure how that's going to So, like we've stated many times on the channel, we're not huge Porter fans, but... I'm trying to support Matt Anthony's more than I have, so this was next up on the list. I've got to say, the Porter, we've had some really good ones, and they're starting to grow on me a bit, but then every now and then you get that just boring one. Yeah, you get the one that's like, eh, this is why I don't. Yeah. But the, uh, oh, the smoked Porter, I've actually had a craving for that. That was that Alaskan smoked Porter. Alright, so pours out a little bit darker maybe than your traditional porter. Um, no light coming through. You get a little brown hue yeah, at the bottom. It's a nice chocolate brown right on the edge. Mm -hmm. Nice tan head. It's not really sticking around. Um, and I did pour his pretty much directly down the, the center. The ABV is kind of low, 5.3, so it shouldn't be dissipating because of alcohol. It kind of looks like a high carbonation mm -hmm. style bubble, too. Yeah. So it's getting us. Alright. Ooh, that's a nice dark roast coffee there. You're almost getting like an espresso type yeah. uh, smell. Um, you can tell it's real sharp. Uh, you do get a mild dark chocolate in there as well, but it's kind of really, most of its characteristics kind of covered up by the coffee. There's almost like a plummy smell too initially, and I think it's probably just the smells playing with the yeast, mm. but it's kind of interesting. I'm saying a nice deep roasted malt as well. Yeah, not, not a ton to um, the aroma as far as complexity, but what is there smells great. Uh, so it's gonna, yeah, It really does. Yeah, it's <laughs> I taste used to be a diehard coffee drinker, <laughs> so I'm kind of excited. Uh, it was highly carbonated. Uh, this one is a little, or right at probably room temperature too. Um, right up front though you do get uh, the nice charred uh, taste from the espresso uh, type flavor mixed with the roasted malt and it kind of carries all the way back at the end I'm getting a nice kind of like burnt toast type of flavor yeah. um, it is a little watery yeah um, with the mouth feel uh, the flavor is not too complex but they didn't really put I mean other than you know your basic malts they didn't really put too much other uh, ingredients in other than the coffee. Now, when, it, when I said I was, used to drink coffee, I drank strong coffee. Uh, we made we made some really strong coffee, and this really is tickling my taste buds. This is I'm getting a little bit of nutty flavor out of it as well. Real strong coffee, though. Mm -hmm. Like walking into a coffee shop, even like Starbucks or whatever, um, it's that kind of smell that hits you as you walk through the door. It's what you get uh, in the glass, and even just popping open the bottle, it started to come out of there before we poured it. Um, so I didn't even look this one up uh, on Ray Beer. I, it's brand new. They're not going to have anything on there. Um, but it is a porter. So going into the rating for the style, what are you going to give it? You know what? I'm going to give it... This is a tough one. I'm going to give it an 8. I was going to go 8.5, but I think eight's more realistic. I think it's well executed, though. That's the thing. I mean, it really is a good porter. Um... Yeah, eight. Uh, you are starting to get a little bit more subtle flavors in there. Like I said, the nutty, 
little bit of caramel type in there, but getting a little more of the yeasty mm. esters too. Um, I will say this is by far out of the three out of the box that they've done, this is easily the best one, uh, which is surprising because the other two have been IPAs. Yeah. Um, yeah, I wish it were a little more complex, a little better on the body, but not a solid beer though. Real solid. I agree. <laughs> um, overall, overall, I'll stick with an eight. This is something I probably, I probably will try to drink this a little bit more. Um, a lot of them, I just you know I don't care. Yeah. It's like yeah, I had it okay. Uh, this one, if I were out to dinner, I think it would go well with steak, or it would oh, go absolutely. well with an, even an ice cream. I would say yeah, is it dessert really good beer as well? It yeah, would, it would work. Um, I'll stick to an eight. Uh, it's got enough, when you put it in the overall scale, it's got enough of, for me, if you say you have something on the bottle, I want to taste it, I want to, you know, I want it to know that it's there, and I do with this one, so yeah. it's going to win a ton of points. Um, and it does have nice flavor complexity to it. Um, it does have a better body than a lot of other porters that we've had. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, this or Guinness, obviously I'm going to pick this over Guinness. <laughs> um for example, but I haven't had a true Guinness in a long time. Uh, I got extra stout. I actually have two of those left in, in the fridge now. And it is a lot different, a lot different than a regular draft, but yeah, yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really don't think there's anything else to say other than a big kudos to Matt Anthony's. They're mm -hmm. doing some good outside the box, not to coin their phrase, but uh, or turn their phrase, but they're doing some good outside the box beers. And I think they're, they're going to continue to get. Better as oh, we go absolutely. along because you're you know you're starting to brew other things, getting the process yeah. down. Having crafted a few recipes, I know how hard it is <laughs> to get it right where you want it, uh, or even close. Yeah. <laughs> this one, I think they did a good yeah. job. That so, being said, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Definitely smack that uh, subscribe button. Yeah. Smack it. Uh, keep growing. Like we said uh, a couple of different times, we got some stuff planned in the future uh, that we're gonna do. Uh, but other stuff, we want to hit milestones before uh, we do other For things. Sure. So, uh, like you said, we had uh, some big stuff coming up. Uh, we just did KBS not too long ago. Go check that out. Spread the word on that. Um, we will have Dark Lord coming up soon, um, both as a review and the festival. Probably Bone Loop. Yes, we need, we need to do one of those, We do too. have several variants as well, but we'll probably start with the regular. Mm -hmm. And we just did a impromptu CBS review. Yeah. So, what are you going to do? Tell your friends. Yeah. That's what you're going to do. <laughs> Too easy. See ya. Yeah, so I don't think we have anything else really to say other than a kudos to uh, this brewery. Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? We're going to do this again. Uh, yeah, so I really don't think <laughs> we have any. <laughs> He wanted to be an actor. It'd be like take after take. <laughs> yeah, I really don't think there's anything else to say. Uh, we'd like to give a kudos to... Uh... <laughs>